What? It's all the militant patriotism. What is it? Strike another blow against the I love you. What? And coal dust are their weapons. But I love you. Seventeen seventy three. Yeah, I do. Of Look, I love you. Look, look, look. Come here. Stick feathers in their hair and arm themselves with hatchets and a bad No, well, no, don't take my hair. I need my hair. I'd look funny bald. Watch as they climb Come here. You come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. You want cuddles with Mama? There is no one to stop. Three hundred and forty-two crates okay. of tea worth ten thousand British pounds are cast. You don't want to come here? This wanton act of sabotage. You want to come here? Becomes known as the Boston Tea Party. Will soon push the. Can you say hi? To the brink of war. The British reaction was disgust and outrage. From the British point of view, you had an entire Brandy. colony I love you. running them up. <laughs> and the British government, after the Tea Act, frankly said, We've had enough. Okay. We've had enough of Massachusetts. We're going to clamp down on it. And we're going to make okay. Massachusetts Bye. an example of what happens if you defy the authority of Parliament. At that very same time, the British discovered yet another outrage committed by an American. Some of they thought they could trust. Benjamin Franklin. Over a year ago, Franklin was passed a stolen packet of confidential letters written to a British official by Massachusetts Governor Thomas Hutchinson. Ever since Stamp Act rioters tore down Hutchinson's house nine years earlier, he had tried to juggle serving his king with serving his angry fellow citizens. Where are you going? The letters given to Franklin exposed Hutchinson's true loyalist sympathies. There must be an abridgment of what are called English liberties. 